All right, guys, welcome back. So this is going to be part two, and it's going to be focused on range, right? So this is probably one of the strongest range setups you can have. Um, how you choose, it's also dependent up to you. How much you want to add champs is also dependent up to you. So this would be one of the strongest setups you can have. Now the jeweling, of course, is different. A lot of this is jeweled for mix um, because simply I don't rally range as much. So if I lose 80% potentially, right, for 10% from each one, uh, it's not that big of a deal because I hardly ever hit in range anyways. So uh, one thing to note is that range is going to be your least used frontline counter. And if you do have to hit in range, you're going to already hit hard because range on calf will always destroy them. So um, when you're looking at range, right, this will be the high tier, the high end, right? So full Astra, full everything. If money's not a problem, this is what you're going to be looking at. So, but to start off, you're going to be doing something like this. And again, it's miners stuff, but this will be what you want to aim for, you know, and you do want to focus on cups because cups are, if you can't get champ accessories, cups are your best friend, right? Uh, the codex gives you, will give you the same attack for range as a champion lane. However, it will not give you the defense, but that's irrelevant, uh, especially when you're just trying to hit stuff. So this is what your base range is going to look like. And this is the one champ piece I recommend for having it for this set. And if you paid attention to the previous one, you'll see that you already have the imp boots and the imp offhand. So with that being said, if you were to upgrade this any further, you can simply add the range boots, which are the cheapest, you know, champ piece you can make. Uh, for your main helm, you can always use the Bumble Helm as well, if you care for more of an HP approach. And if you're going to upgrade even further, you can always upgrade to the helmet. Not required, however, if you do make that extra piece, that it's an extra piece you can have. For the Worm Rod, a lot of people sometimes will replace it with the Skull Crusher, right? And however, if you do decide to make a chant piece, you can use this one as a mix setup, or if you don't want to, then set this one up for blast same here you know if you make the lamp after for a mix setup if you want more chance for your mix uh these can be replaced right so you can use the lamp instead of the codex to replace it and lastly if you're going to make a range accessory the best one you probably can have would be the blessings right so in terms of champion accessories you're going to have Fates being your number one, Blessings being your number two, and Valors being your number three priority. So my recommend is always go for three Fates. After that, you can work on your Blessings. You can either do all three Blessings, or you can do two Blessings and then one Valor, depending how your play style is. And then that's how you end up with this type of set. Now again, for Heroes, uh, you'll see the same setup. So pretty much, again, you know, Keeping it straightforward. Uh, once you use this chart to figure out which best combination you have, paying attention to, you know, that there are a range, and you'll see that you know you gotta pay attention to which one gives you army and which one gives you HP, which which one gives you army, HP, and defense, which one gives you just attack and HP for range, and which one gives you attack, range, and HP. So. Once you figure out the best combination that you have available for you, this would be the way to go. This is the way I recommend if you have 11 case. And if you don't, then uh, let's see, you probably run some like this. Um, I think her and here comes the tricky part, right? So I said use Lord Weaver and the nice thing or not Lord Weaver, but uh, Berserker. So one thing to know is that if you have the same hero, which is the same army hero, what that gives you is that you don't have to change heroes to give you the best strongest blast. However, uh, if you are changing hero, depending on the blast, let's say 11k, 
people can then maybe acknowledge what you might be sending. Uh, with that also being said, is that whichever army hero you choose will be gives you that little bonus towards that troop type. So if you choose Berserker, your infantry will have a bonus. If you use Lord Weaver, your calf will have a bonus. And if you use Song Trans, your range will have a bonus. Um, as for familiars, standard again for Blast, 600%, 150, Griffin, Snow Beast, and Long Shot. So these are what I've always used and I'll probably keep using. And again, with these, uh, you want to add a buffer. So a buffer, sometimes I'll put like 1500 here and uh, put like a 200 for Cav, like a T3 range and 225 range, right? And um, for these, uh, the best one that I found hit range in is into Infwitch, right? So this is the Phoenix that I recommend. However, if someone is potentially garrisoning it and you are afraid that the garrison will beat up your uh, uh, buffers, uh, because we all know what happens in range when you lose your buffers, it's basically the enemy defaults into in front line. So what you want to do is you want to just sit in range front and it will not retarget to you the uh, infantry as long as you did send your buffers. So make sure you always send buffers unless the enemy only has cav range and you want to make sure that you hit the cav then when you send your march you want to make sure you have no buffers right so you then just take all these out and just send pure range it will retarget it and you only hit the calf or the front line so that is the quick range tutorial and uh yeah 